and welcome to my Sim Racing Corner. In front of me, I have two displays which are both using Sim Hub to pipe through this image. They are both USB devices. So, this is one you may be familiar with. I've already shown this on the channel in a previous video. It's a vocal screen, so there's a full guide on using this and setting it up and also making an enclosure for it. Um, so, this is the one we want to talk about, guys. This is a AX206 screen, but I wanted them side by side just so you had a comparison since there is a couple of things you will need to see later in the video. Um, one thing about this which is amazing is it's only £15. It is super easy to set up, it is basically plug and play. You put in a driver onto your PC, run SIM Hub, and then pipe through the display to this. Very much like setting up the Vocor. So, no difference in that, but I will show you a quick start guide on getting this set up later in the video. But uh, first I'm just going to show you both of these together. Um, so this screen is um, excellent and I said £15. There is a link in the description to AliExpress to get this one. So make sure you get this one since you may find different models out there. They may not work with SIM Hub. So that's definitely something you need to make sure you get the right one. So let me just show you this because um, the other thing which is great about this is when you buy some of these screens they're just bare screens with no enclosure. This actually has a bezel and an enclosure ready set on it. So yeah, it's really built into this uh, Perspex um, kind of protection on the back and sandwiched between these two layers. So yeah, it is a fully protected little screen, which is really good. Um, so much more convenient than the, than the Vocal, which uh, you need to basically find a way to add this to some enclosure. 3D printing is probably the best way with this one, which could be awkward if you don't have a 3D printer. Um, one thing to note is this is a three and a half inch screen, IPS screen. This is a four inch IPS screen. So there's certainly difference in size, which I'm sure you could tell already. Um, but um, yeah, great viewing angles since it's an IPS screen. So both of them do a really good job. And, uh, and there, there you go. So, and you can see the reason why I wanted this one by the side is to check the performance uh, to see if this screen is able to keep up with this screen because it is a USB screen. So, you know, it's not like an HDMI sort of screen piping through an image. So that can make a difference and there is a difference. So what you're seeing here is gonna look absolutely spot on. It looks perfectly good and it looks like they're running exactly the same speed. And it does to me, and I'm sure it does to you. I'm recording 60 frames per second on this camera. I do know the vocal screen um, has a frame rate of, it's either 24 or 25 frames per second, one or two. Um, and this one, I don't know. But I will say some dashboards on this screen do stutter a little bit. There's a bit of lag. So this is a custom dis uh, dashboard I made, which is the one I use on this vocal screen. And um, obviously I'm showing it on both the screens here. So let me change to a different uh, dashboard and I'm um, just to show you that there is a bit of lag. So I don't know if this is a software issue with SimHub or if it's to do with the screen itself, but let me show you now. Okay, so what you want to observe, which you'll probably see pretty quickly is this one does freeze momentarily every so often. Let me just, uh, that's restarting the playback. So let me get that going again. But yeah, look at the speed, look at the speedos and look at those little uh, cars, which are, which are uh, batting around the screen there, around my car in the middle. And you can just see this one does have a problem with the frame rate. Yet on other dashboards, it looks absolutely fine. So again, I'm not sure if it's a SIM hub thing. Um, what I can try and do is if I disable this one and see if that makes a difference that way, maybe it's just having two dashboards running. Let's try that. Okay, so we just have this one running, but you can see it's still struggling a little bit. There's still a little bit of lag. So that hasn't, hasn't helped the situation. Yeah, still struggling a little bit. So yeah, it does seem to be some dashboards or some elements on dashboards is, uh, you know, is having a problem. Um, I do wonder if it's just a SIM hub issue where the, the, the dev needs to kind of fix it, possibly, since some dashboards are looking absolutely fine on this. So let me just show another dashboard just to show you that. 
There's also one element where it's definitely noticeable where there's lag is when you add the um, the rev limiter effect on here where it just flashes when you hit the red line. Um, you'll see a difference where that flashes perfectly well and it comes down as a wipe on this one. So it looks really, really strange. So uh, let's try that. So there you go, you can see that immediately as we uh, shift up when we hit the uh, rev limiter. <laughs> Come on, let's get there. You'll see this flashes and that has this kind of weird wipe going down the screen. So that's usable, that's not really useful there. because That's kind of a weird effect. Um, so yeah, again, not sure what's going on there. I'm, I'm kind of thinking maybe it is like a SimHub software um, error where the dev needs to look at fixing. Let me just turn that off because it's a little bit distracting. And let's try a final dashboard change. Let's just see if there's any lag on here now. Well, that seems to be super smooth. There doesn't seem to be a problem at all on this. And it's working just fine. So yeah, seemingly some dashboards are um, struggling. So um, it could just be um, a glitch rather than the screen itself. But overall, really, really nice. £15 for this, guys. You know, plug and play. Um, I think, uh, you know, just using a phone holder or something like that, a smartphone holder would, you know, be fine to hold this in place. Or you can just stick it to something, you know. You know, if you've got the... Got some points here you could add some blue tack stick it something or some double-sided tape whatever you want to do i mean this would be absolutely no problem mounting uh, so yeah really fantastic screen so what i'm going to show you next is a quick setup guide if you've never used simhub before you're going to find this useful if you if you have used simhub you're going to have no problems with this it can take you literally a few seconds to set up so okay guys let's move on to that uh right now Okay, so once you've installed the driver and SimHub, plug in the display and it'll just look like this. Nothing much is happening there. Uh, so in SimHub, go to Dash Studio and then along the top, go to AX206 and simply click Enable Display and it'll just pick up the display and it is uh, working. There you go. Let me just change the display. It's obviously having a bit of a problem with the darkness of that screen there so let's just pick it up there and and there you go so yeah and that's simple as that guys um, and now you have a working display with your AX206 screen and I can just quickly demonstrate that if I go to the game section I can uh, run one of these uh, telemetry replays quickly and you can just see it is um, it's working just fine and there you go if you have paid for a license for sim hub which i suggest you do if you haven't already because it does give you some extra benefits one of the benefits is um, when you launch a game sim hub will automatically recognize which game is running if you haven't paid for a license for sim hub what you'll need to do you just need to manually kind of click on the game that you're about to run first so just click on that and it will just be the game that's going to be active you know, to launch your Steam game and it will just pick it up there. So that's what you need to do um, if you don't know how to use SimHub. But yeah, simple as that, guys. And there you go. Really, really easy. Um, yeah, fantastic. So uh, thanks, guys. Well, thank you for watching my video and I hope you found that useful. Uh, do feel free to drop comments below the video and I'll see you in the next one. So yeah, cheers, guys. Take care and bye-bye.